welcome to October 3rd, 2008, the sixth day of the week, preparation day for the Sabbath. Well, brethren, let's get right over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 277 of the year 2008. Okay, let's open our Bibles, and so you can read along with me. If need be, use the pause button so you can get the chapter and verse. Also write these first chapter and verses down so that you can read the whole context, because here on YouTube we will not have time. It's okay you have your Bibles. Turn to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Okay, let's go to the Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verses 7 and 6. Should be 6 and 7. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Love is strong as death. Now we turn over to John chapter 15 and verse 13 and we read, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 24, Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, shall live unto a righteousness by whose stripes ye are healed. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7 In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 11 You are washed you are sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Now First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of of him who has called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Retrospections of the believer, of divine guidance. Second Samuel chapter 7 verses 18 and 19. Who am I, O Lord God, and what is my house, that thou hast brought me hitherto? And this was yet a small thing in the sight, O, o Lord God. Rendering safe by his protection, I shall pass the watery waste. Trusting to his wise direction, I shall gain the part at last. And with wonder, think of toils and dangers past. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ, the blood of Christ, thy spotless lamb. First Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19. You were not rendered with corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Well, brethren, here we are on the sixth day of the week, 
day of preparation for the Sabbath, pardon me. Are you ready to go to the Sabbath for the seventh day of the week? Or are you going to hold off and go to the Sabbath of Baal on the first day of the week? Oh, they call that a Christian church. But as I always say, a VW bug can call itself a Mack truck, but it'll never be. And unless you're following the footsteps of Christ, following every footstep as his custom was, and start congregating on the Sabbath, you have no right to call yourself a Christian. If you want to know when the Sabbath was, go to Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. Rest and resting in them two verses is Sabbath. That's where we get our word, the Sabbath. And it tells you what day it is and what day he sanctified. If you're using another day, get down on your knees and repent. And stop following the tradition of men. Ask the Father for forgiveness. And if you really want to change in your heart, He will hear you. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will, and God willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.